When you have numerous images to showcase, a disorganized layout can make your page look cluttered, leaving your audience uninterested. However, if you incorporate this type of image display effect into your PowerPoint presentation, it will surely captivate your audience. You can even enable interaction with your PowerPoint through the use of top navigation buttons, allowing you to navigate to the specific image you wish to discuss. The result is quite impressive. Creating this effect may require some time, but the results are definitely worth it. The process is divided into four steps. Image preparation, image animation effects, page beautification and title box edition, and link buttons. Let's start with the first stage, image preparation. First, we need to download an iPhone mockup, which is a key element of this PowerPoint. The middle part of it is transparent, allowing the content below the layers to be displayed. Next, insert a rounded rectangle. Adjust its transparency to 50. Set it to have no border. This setting is convenient for matching the size with the phone screen. Place it above the phone. Resize it to match the size of the phone screen. Then adjust the yellow control points. Adjust the corners to match the curvature of the phone screen. This is the size of the screen image. Utilize these dimensions to crop the image. First, import a prepared image, adjust it to the same height as the rounded rectangle. Then cover the rounded rectangle over the image. Adjust the position to cover the best part of the image. Next, select the image first, then select the rounded rectangle. Click on Shape Format in the menu bar. Select the Intersect option in Merge Shapes. The image is successfully cropped to the size of the screen. Copy this image. Select the second image, right-click, choose Change Picture, and change the background to another image we have chosen. If you are not satisfied with the display area of the image, you can choose Crop in Picture Format. Adjust the image area again until you are satisfied with the part of the image being displayed. Let me demonstrate again. Copy the second image, right-click, choose Change Picture, and change the background to another image we have chosen. Choose Crop in Picture Format. Adjust the image area again until you are satisfied with the part of the image being displayed. Then, use the same method to process the other photos. Since the method is the same, I will not demonstrate each one here. Finally, we have six processed images. Select all images, align them horizontally first. Then distribute them evenly horizontally. Finally, group them together, which will be used as the display images for the phone. Moving on to the second stage, creating image animation effects. Copy the phone model. Adjust the position of the image so that the first image aligns with the screen. Note that the phone image must be on the top layer of the page, or it will be obscured by the image. To enhance visibility, change the page background to black. Next, copy this slide. Continue adjusting the position of the image so that the second image aligns with the screen. Next, copy this slide four times. In each page, adjust the corresponding image to the appropriate position. Finally, double-check if the order is correct. Select all these pages and add a morph effect to the entire group. You can see that the playback of the pages is very smooth. The image animation effect is completed. In the third phase, beautify the pages and add title boxes. Now, on each slide, there will be a display of a phone screen image along with other images. To highlight the phone screen image, we want to achieve an effect where only the screen image is bright, while the rest of the images have reduced brightness. Add a rectangle that covers the entire page. Remove the border. Adjust the fill color to black with 60% transparency. Next, duplicate any image. Move the image over the phone screen. Select the rectangle first and then the image. Click on Shape Format in the menu bar. Choose Subtract from Merge Shapes. This will create a screen size cutout in the rectangle. The empty window in the middle gives the screen image a highlight effect, making it stand out more. 
To enhance the texture of the page background, add a gradient to the page background. Specifically, use the light blue and light purple colors provided in the image with a gradient background. Going back to the first slide, we notice the left side of the screen is empty. Here, I plan to add a shape as a title bar. Select top corner's rounded rectangle from shapes. Insert it on the left side of the page. Adjust the spacing appropriately. Keep the height the same as the phone image height. Right-click and select Format Shape. Remove the border. Choose Slide Background Fill for the fill. This gives the shape a gradient color. Add a shadow to the shape. Adjust the shadow size for a more textured look. Add some text. Group the text and shape together. This creates the title box. Copy the title box to the second slide, then move it out to the left of the page. The morph effect will show the title box collapsing. Copy the title box to the last slide. In shape format, choose Rotate to mirror flip it. Modify the text in the title box. This completes the title box. Similarly, copy the title box to the second last slide, then move it out to the right of the page. The morph effect will show the title box flying in. In the fourth and final phase, create navigation buttons. Insert a circular shape above the screen. Set it to have no border. Fill it with a gradient matching the page background. Add a central shadow effect. Copy this button five times. Adjust the positions and spacing. Align them horizontally. This creates the buttons. Insert page links into the buttons. Select the first button, click insert, and choose link. Choose to link it to the first slide. Repeat this method for each button to link them to their respective pages. After all the buttons are set up, there is a crucial step. Naming the buttons sequentially in alphabetical order. Remember to prefix each letter with two exclamation marks. This is essential for forcing them to be recognized as the same shape, which is crucial for morph transitions. Copy these buttons to the remaining slides. Next, play to test. The buttons should work correctly. Finally, we want to add an effect where the button enlarges with the page. This helps in locating the page and buttons with a highlighted effect. Select the first button, enlarge it. Align it horizontally with the other buttons and adjust the distance. Change the border to white, one pixel width. Copy the core part of the first image to the clipboard. Select the button and set the fill to Picture or Texture Fill. Choose the clipboard. The button background will now be the cropped image. Copy this button to the second slide. Delete the second button. Place the copied button in its position. Adjust its position and leave some distance. Repeat the cropping process for the second image's core part. Set the fill for the button to the cropped image. Since this is copy, the links have changed. Relink the buttons to their respective pages to avoid errors. Repeat the above steps for the buttons on the following slides. Patience is key in this process to avoid mistakes.
Next, modify the names to correspond to the correct letters. Once all buttons are set up, the interactive image navigation display is complete. Preview the presentation. Smooth transitions between pages can be observed. Clicking the buttons should seamlessly switch between the pages. That concludes today's tutorial. It's a bit lengthy, but the creation process is quite engaging. Feel free to try it out yourself. I'm Dream. Please like and share this video, and follow my channel for more content.